Hello, I'm Bob Rudman with Milwaukee Valve, and today we're going to demonstrate how to install the Insulator MS, or as we call it, the TIH handle on our bronze ball valve. So here we have one of our one inch bronze ball valves. We're going to be installing the Insulator MS handle on top. So first thing you want to do is remove the stem nut on the handle of the valve. Simple 9 16 stem nut. You want to hang on to the nut, we'll be using that later. Remove the handle. Inside the package of the handle, of the handle, we have an instruction sheet. And there's a small washer that we'll be installing. First thing you want to do is reach underneath. There's a couple tabs. I'm going to pop the cover off of it. Inside, you'll see two Allen screws. We're going to be removing those. Set those aside. Then we'll remove the inner sleeve. We're going to start with the valve in the closed position. So if you need to, take your handle back and just operate the valve fully closed. You'll want to put the handle on the valve stem so that the stop in the handle is oriented between the two stops on the valve. You want to take the washer that was included in the package and you want to slip that over the valve stem inside the housing. Take your stem nut. We like to use a magnetic socket. It makes it easier to get the nut down on the valve stem. You can simply place that over the valve stem. Start it threading over the stem. And simply tighten it until it's snug. You're going to re replace the inner sleeve. There's a couple of holes in here and a couple of slots. We utilize the holes for when the memory stop feature is not required. There's two X's, one on the inner sleeve and one inside the housing. You want to line up those two X's so that the single holes line up. We'll then replace the Allen screws. Tighten those down with the Allen wrench. Just snug is fine. And replace the top cover. You may now use the handle to operate the valve. Should you require the memory stop option on the valve, that's simply done. You can do that while the handle's in place. Simply loosen and remove the Allen screws. And by rotating the inner sleeve clockwise, the memory stop button will protrude between the stops on the valve. You can then replace the Allen screws. And the inner sleeve can be rotated to any position so the valve will only turn as far as desired. The memory stop button on the bottom keeps the valve from going fully closed. Replace the cover, and that's all there is to it. Again, I'm Bob Rudman with Milwaukee Valve, and that's how to install the insulator MS handle on a ball valve. This handle is available for all of our bronze and brass ball valve products.